Okay, welcome back. We are going to continue with the last part of chapter 6 and that is equation of locus. Okay, you have learned this in your uh, form 2 mathematics, right, where you draw uh, the uh, where you draw the locus, but now you're required to uh, find the equation of locus. Now, generally, this uh, question for equation of locus works this way, yeah? First, the concept, yeah, I want you to understand the concept first. Um, first, there will always be a moving point, right? If you remember what you learned from form 2, it's the same thing. There will always be a moving point, and the moving point can be P or Q. Say it is P. Say it is P, and uh, since it is a moving point, the coordinates of point P will always be X and Y. It cannot be a fixed coordinate because it is always moving, right? Right, so, and the second thing that they will say, that there, there is a condition for this moving point, yeah? So, the condition would be, the condition or the constraint would be this moving point is moving in such a way that its distance... Okay, generally the condition would be the distance of this moving point P is equal to its distance from something. You know, it's equal to something. Maybe it is the equal to the distance uh, from point, another point, maybe point A. And point A will be a fixed point uh, for, for a particular unit, you know, let's say A is a 0 and 5. Okay, so the distance of this moving point P is equal to its distance from point A, uh, which is, uh, say, 3. You know, the distance of point P to point A is equal to 3. Right? 3 units. Let's just say. Right? This is one of the condition. So, generally, the condition uh, will be given in the form of distance. And if this is the case, then you form your equation. Remember, you're looking for equation, right? So, you form your equation using the distance formula. Okay, the distance formula. The distance formula would be this, the x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square would equals to something, in this case probably is 3. Okay, this is an example of how the locus uh, move so that this distance is equal to something. So this is how you form the equation using the distance formula. Okay, of course the condition can change a little bit. Uh, the distance is equal to point A and point B, you know, uh, but basically you use the distance formula to form the equation. That's uh, one, one condition and it's a very, very common uh, question, yeah, using distance, right? So this is number one. Now you do have a second condition. Sometimes, sometimes they will give you uh, a condition in such a way that the locus of this moving point P forms a perpendicular line. It forms a perpendicular line with another line. Uh, with another line that is formed by a point, lah, okay, with another line. So now, in this case, when the condition says that this moving point P has a locus and it is it forms a perpendicular line with another line, then you will have to form your equation based on the perpendicular line uh, formula or equation, which is m1, m2 is equal to negative 1. So it is still an equation, right? m1, m2 is equal to negative 1. And uh, the distance formula is also an equation, which is what you're looking for, equation of the moving point or equation of the locus. Okay, so in general, these two are the conditions uh, for forming equations of locus. You use only these two formula in general for SPM. Okay, so let's have a look at how um, the questions will be asked, right? Let's have a look at question number 53. Number 53 says, find the equation of the locus of a moving point P. So the moment you see a moving point P, then write it out. Since it is a moving point, the coordinates will always be X and Y because it always changes because it is moving. Okay, so write out P. And uh, it says, what is the condition now? The condition says that it's distance from the point A. So that means the distance from point uh, of point P to point A, which means A to P, is 3 units. Right, the distance of A to P is 3 units, where A is a fixed point, which means A does not move, it's a stationary point, uh, and the coordinates is 2, 5. So this is your equation. Can you see that AP is equal to 3, the distance of A to P is 3. So let's form uh, your equation here. AP 
is equals to 3, right? The distance would be using the distance formula. Uh, and I suggest that you start with point P, uh, the x minus the x and uh, the y minus the y, right? So it's x minus 2 squared, that's the formula. We're doing P and A, yeah? these two points over here, all right? So uh, x minus 2 uh, square plus y minus 5 square. Okay, so uh, what do you do to uh, get rid of this square root? That will be a squaring on both sides of the equation, right? So that means that you can cut off the square root. So that becomes x square minus 4x plus 4 plus y square minus 10y plus 25 is equals to 9. So be very careful with this. Yeah, Remember to square this. A lot of students forget to square the 3 over here. All right. So now shift everything to one side. That is x square. So try to write your equation like this. Yeah, Put the squares first. x square, then put the y square first. Then put the x and the, put the x and the y. So minus 4x minus 10y. Then put the number. That's 25 plus 4 is 29. Minus 9 is 20, right? Plus 20 equals to 0. So this is the equation of the locus of a moving point P. Uh, that its distance is always 3 units from point A, which is a stationary point. So now, just to let you know actually what this means yeah, uh, in terms of graphical uh, drawing. So there's a stationary point A, right? So let's say this is point A and 2, 5. And there is a moving point P. Now, do you, if you remember what you learned in Form 2 math, a moving point P that is always same distance from point A. What kind of a locus is that? It's a circle, correct or not? So basically, um, the, the, the equation or point P is moving in a circle, right? In a circle, and the center is actually A, and the distance between the point, the movement of point P or the locus is always 3 units. That means the radius is always 3. So the, the, the locus of point P is actually a circle. And well, last time you only drew the circle, but now you are counting the equation of the circle. So this equation represents this circle. Yeah. So the equation of a circle has what form? The format is x square, y square, x, y, and a number. You know, all the equation has a general form, like your quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, right? So this is just uh, how the equation of a circle will look like. Okay, so I hope you have a clearer understanding of what equation of locus means. Now let's have a look at uh, 54. Question number 54 over here. All right, 54 is a little bit different. It says find the equation of the locus of point P. So again, it's point P. Locus of point P means point P is always moving. So P is X and Y. Coordinates is not fixed uh, such that its distance from point A. So there is a point A. Again, point A is fixed. And point B, which is 3 and 5, are equal. Okay, so the equation of the locus of point P such that its distance from A and B is equal. So now, uh, again, let's let's put it in form in the form of what you learned in form two. Yeah, there are two points: point A here, negative two and four. Okay, that's point A, and there is a point B somewhere here, and the coordinates is three and five. What is the equation of the locus of a point that is moving such that its distance from point A and point B is always the same? Uh, what you did in form two was that you joined A and B. And then you drew a perpendicular line across NB, right? And this is the locus of P, correct? Okay, so now you can imagine that uh, you are going to look for the equation of this straight line because that's the locus of point P, such that it is equal always from A and B. So how do you form your equation then? Well, you use distance, right? Because they say point the distance to A and B is the same. So this means A to P, the distance of P, P is moving along here, right? So the distance of P to A will equal to the distance of P to B. So P at any point in time, the distance is always equal. So A, P is equal to P, B. This is your equation using the distance formula again. Yeah, that's AP, that's PB, right? So refer to the coordinates, yeah, AP. So that means that's X minus X, right? So X minus minus 2 becomes X plus 2 square plus Y minus 4 square is equals to PB. PB is X minus 3. Be very careful with your 
coordinates yeah don't put the wrong one plus y minus 5 square so same thing here how do you remove the square root by squaring on both side right you actually don't have to write this yeah i'm just explaining it so that you can understand better so now expand on the bracket there's no more square root so expand it carefully it's just a bit long plus 4x plus 4 plus y square minus 8y plus 16 equals x square minus 6x plus 9 plus y square minus 10y plus 25 okay right so now remember you're looking for an equation so you're gonna shift all everything to the left hand side make it equals to zero okay so as you shift be very careful see this x square and x square i'm gonna do x square and x square first if you shift this over they'll be minus so they'll cut off one another so no more then i'm gonna do the y first the y square the y square and the y square is the same if you shift over they'll be minus so you get cut off one another so now do the x 4x minus 6x if you shift over becomes a plus 6x right so that will give you a uh, 10x all right so then there is a um, uh, 10x so we cut off the x here okay then we do the y minus 8y and minus 10y you shift the 10y will becomes plus 10y so that's plus 2y so cut off so that leaves you with the numbers right so that's uh, 4 plus 16 is 20 so that's plus 20 and uh, 25 plus 9 is 34 so minus 34 equals to 0 so if you do it one by one and step by step you won't make a mistake i have seen a lot of students they make mistake like nobody's business when they do equation of locus it's just because they're not careful it's just because there are a lot of terms okay so do it one by one if you notice i do the x square first then i do the y square then i do the x then i do the y then i do the numbers the last follow a consistent sequence uh, sequence and you will not have uh, a lot of careless mistakes everywhere all right so now uh, i'm gonna simplify what i can that's 10x plus 2y minus 14 equals zero again you can further simplify if you notice all the terms can be divided by two right and uh, you can only do this when there's an equation that is equals to zero yeah if it is equals to y then you cannot do this yeah okay so uh what do you get what you get you get 5x plus y minus 7 is equals to 0 okay that's it this is your final uh, equation yeah there's a final equation of uh, locus of point p and if you notice it's actually a straight line equation right yeah 5x plus y minus 7 equals to 0 all right so we will look at uh, question number 55 in the following uh, video